Hi everyone. So in this two-part video series, what we're going to talk about is using synth instruments inside of Y. So basically that involves exporting MIDI out of a sequencer like Pro Tools or Digital Performer and importing that into a Y segment. So in this video, we're going to gather up the raw materials for what we need. And I'm going to do that in two different places. The first thing I'm going to do is actually uh, export out of Digital Performer. So I'll open up Digital Performer on my machine and basically any sequencer, Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools, Reason, Ableton, uh, all of them will actually export MIDI files. And so uh, earlier today I created a little MIDI file here with just some chords in it uh, for us to use as raw materials within WISE. And uh, so I have a MIDI track here and I have some MIDI notes on it. I'm using the Apple software synth. The Apple software synth is part of the QuickTime instrument library that's built into OSX on my Mac. And so when I play it, right now it's just going to play the generic piano that's built into OSX or the system itself. And so this is what it sounds like. So just some basic chords. And what I'm going to do is export that as a MIDI file. And there are two ways to do that within Digital Performer. You can go up to the Save As command, which is what I'm going to do now. Save As, and then I'll go to Standard MIDI File, and I'll export that. There's already one there. I'm going to just replace it. And I'm going to expand my loops and apply MIDI effects if I have any. There aren't any on this track, but basically that exported a generic MIDI file that I can then play in other sequencers and, and import. So that's some raw material. And now I'm going to go to a little bit more complex uh, example. So I'll close up Digital Performer, and I'm actually going to build something out of Recycle. Now Recycle will cut up a loop and then make a MIDI file and then export your samples from it. So a lot of people don't use Recycle anymore because it's built into a lot of programs. Uh, but it's kind of useful because we can bring a loop inside of WISE for us to play back. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut up this very simple loop that comes generically with Recycle. And so it kind of looks like a little sound editor. I have to select the start point, which is right there, and I have to select the end point which is right here, because there's a little pickup at the end of this. Um, the other thing I have to do is select how many bars it is. It's one bar long. When I play it back, it sounds like this. Make sure my loop is clean. And it actually tells me what the original beats per minute were, which was a little bit over 80. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to slice up each one of these little percussion hits. So that's what I'll do next. And I can use the sensitivity to kind of pick up the different transients within the piece itself. And each one of these it will slice into its own little sample. And I can kind of go through here and look and play the individual uh, slices if I want. And once I have uh, the slices how I want them, then I can go up here to the file menu and choose uh, export. And what I want to do is export as a WAV file. When you export as a WAV file, it's going to export all those slices for you. This is a part of Recycle that's kind of cool. And also, it will also generate a MIDI file. So when you export it and you go into the Recycle folder that I created here, it created a little MIDI file that will play these samples mapped out um, onto different keys. And so this is our raw material that we're going to end up using for our WISE video, which is coming up next. See you on the other side. 